Hello everyone, welcome to yet another video by Wondershare FamiSafe. FamiSafe is a reliable parental control app that lets parents control screen time, track real-time location, and detect inappropriate content on their kids' devices. I'm Luke, and in today's video we'll be discussing how to put parental controls on Safari. Safari is a web browser that comes standard with all Apple laptops, and it is loved by many people worldwide because of its high privacy. So as a parent who wants to keep an eye on your child while they're online, it's kind of necessary for you to learn some methods that could help you supervise your kids' online activity. Before getting started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel Wondershare Family Safe. Do let us know in the comments how you will choose to try to control what your kids are watching on the internet after you watch this video. Now back to today's video. Before we move to the methods, let's talk about why setting parental control on Safari is so important. Digital boundaries, website safety, and online monitoring are all important aspects of parenting in the 21st century, especially as children spend more and more time with their devices. As we said earlier, if you're a parent who wants to keep an eye on your child while they're online, it's quite important to know how to utilize Safari parental controls on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And the good news is, parental controls are the features built into these devices' operating systems that allow you to block inappropriate material easily. You can create a list of websites your children are allowed to view, track their online activity, and more. We've sorted out some of the methods to help parents set parental control on Safari. Since the iPad and iPhone run on the same operating system, Safari parental controls are nearly identical to those on the iPhone. Therefore, we'll walk you through the details about how to set the parental control on the iPhone and the Mac. The built-in parental control setting is under the screen time feature. You can restrict iPhone or limit particular applications and features on your child's device using content and privacy restrictions in screen time Safari. But first, you have to create a user profile for your child on the Apple device, then adjust the system settings to apply to Safari for those to work. To begin, go to Settings and then to the Screen Time button area. Then select Content and Privacy Restrictions from the drop-down menu and turn on the Content and Privacy Restrictions button. The next step is selecting Allowed Apps. Toggle the Safari slider off to entirely deactivate Safari and block online browsing on this device. And select Content Restrictions and click on Web Content. Now you will need to provide details to Safari parental control websites, such as the website you wish to limit, depending on the level of access you allow, which mainly includes the two categories, limited adult websites and allowed websites only. Limited adult websites is used to restrict websites that Apple considers adult. And if restricting adult material isn't enough, you can find a URL that has gotten through the gaps, and you can always use limitations to ban any URL you wish. On the other hand, allowed websites only is to set the available access list for your kid. You can construct a list of websites that your children can only visit by adding their address to this list. To do so, hit Allowed Websites Only to limit this device access to a specified list of websites. If you'd like to add more websites to this list, click Add Website and type in the URL. Swipe right to remove sites from the list, then press Delete. With all the actions you've taken on your kid's iPhone, the parental control has been activated. For Mac, it's quite simple as well and it can help you not only keep track of screen time, block websites, and limit access to inappropriate information, but also set access limits to personal photographs, which will maintain your kid's privacy. Besides that, we're also going to offer you a trick to make your iMac or MacBook kid-friendly quickly. On the Mac, screen time is likewise used to provide parents control over Safari. However, it is accessed differently. To access the Safari Parental Control web page, first of all, select the Apple logo, then click on System Preferences. Select Parental Controls. This section applies to Macs running Mac OS Catalina 10.15 or later. To make modifications, click the lock symbol. When prompted, enter your password. Then choose the user account for whom you wish to manage parental restrictions and enable parental controls by clicking the Enable Parental Controls button. Then you can move to the web page. As we need to set up Safari parental control websites, we go to the content and select one of the options. And the three options are the same as in iPhone. Unrestricted access to give your child unrestricted access to any website on the internet. And limit adult websites is to limit the access to adult-oriented websites that Apple has labeled. 
And you may also list your websites here by choosing this option. The third one, allowed websites only. We can see that Bing, Twitter, Google, Facebook, and other websites are among those included in this list. Similar to the action we took on the iPhone, we can click Add to add a new site to the list, or click a site in the list, then press the Subtract button to remove it. And finally, to prevent further modifications by someone else, make sure you click the Lock button after you're done with all the actions. In addition to what we just discussed, parents and caregivers could also consider a monitoring solution to examine the data their children encounter across text message, email, social media, and more. Setting up digital boundaries is a great way to educate digital literacy, safeguard your children online, and feel comfortable handing over your prized computer. In that case, Wondershare FamiSafe could be your best choice to do that. FamiSafe gives you powerful parental controls and GPS location tracking to keep your kids safe both offline and online. Keep track of when your child has left school or returned home, when they have accessed potentially harmful information or used their phone after hours. Use content blockers to keep the internet age appropriate and monitor their battery health. Parents can use it to protect their children on many functional features, such as App Blocker, which allows parents to set the app usage limit of the target. It's easy to block harmful content, such as gambling websites or porn, and set screen time limit. Parents can set screen time limits and make sure kids can focus on important homework during study or have a nice sleep time. You can even check the app activity of your kid's phone usage and remotely block the dangerous apps for children. Web filter, which you can use remotely to block adult websites on your kid's phone. And my favorite one, suspicious content detection. You can set an alert word list and get an automatic warning at any time once kids watch adult or other dangerous videos on YouTube. FamiSafe has other features can help keep your kids from harmful online content. And it's indeed a smart approach to keep on top of your child's digital life and assist them in securely navigating the internet. Well, that was it for today. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel Wondershare FamiSafe. And let us know in the comments which parental control technique you're going to use to make sure your kids have a safer time on the internet. I'm Luke. I'll see you next time.